Today I want to talk to you about Polythemus, my new AEU MIDI app to split MIDI chords, which is notes played one after another and held, to individual mono notes. So Polythemus has a simple interface, but its main thing is it has outputs, separate outputs for each voice. It's basically a voice allocation program, and it will do between one and eight individual outputs. Through is there also to pass any MIDI into MIDI out directly, but you can have individual voices one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. So Polythemus, you can decide how many voices you want. In this case, I've got three. And the voice allocation mode you want. So you've got next three, which basically means that played notes are sent to the next available voice. So a voice is used when the MIDI note on is played, but the MIDI note off hasn't yet finished. In other words, like holding a keyboard note. So the voice is then allocated. So the next three would be the next voice sequentially, so one, two, three, back to one again, that's free. The next voice allocation mode is round robin. So basically, this indicates voice stealing. It means that if you play a note, hold number one, play the second note, it will then go to number two. So this would always, so each individual note will go to the next sequential voice, whether or not it's been held or not, thereby stealing the voice. And it will go around here, one, two, three. Back to one, two, three again. Keep lowest is a mode that's designed to basically try and steal from the highest notes first. So the higher notes will be dropped off, keeping the lower notes. This is useful for where you've got drones in the bass voice. Keep highest is the opposite way around, where it will try and steal the lowest notes first. So if the three voices here are playing and you get another note played, it will steal the lowest note of those voices keeping the highest. So let's go to keep highest. So there's not much else on the interface. You can individually set the volumes if you want to do a bit of mixing. And you can also dictate that you want each voice to be on a particular channel. If not, it's done hyphen hyphen. Basically it means you've got the incoming MIDI channel is sent to the output. Okay, so this is for specific cases where you want the channels fixed. So how does it play? So I've got three instances here of IVCS3. IVCS3 is a mono app. It's only designed to play individual notes. So I've loaded up three different voices here. The idea that this first one would be allocated to channel 1, the second one to channel 2, the third one to channel 3. So I've added a little bit of effects on number 1, and these all mix through to a mix bus with a bit of reverb. So how does it sound? So the first voice, if I just play one note at a time on the keyboard, it's going to just play the first VCS3. I've got the infinite hold here. You can hear the first voice. Now if I hold the first voice, the next note, because it's held, will go to the next voice allocation. So this is playing voice 2, because voice 1 is held. It doesn't need to steal it, because there's only there's three voices available and I'm only playing voice one.
And now I want to play voice three, which is the third of these here's three. Give this help note. Play voice three lower. So sustain notes. Obviously, allocate those voices and keep them. If I now play another note, three are allocated. It has to still. I've got keep highest, so it will still the first one. Now the first voice is free. It's stealing the first one. So here this is voice two. keyboard this way, a certain style of playing by holding notes will allocate notes to directly to synth 1, 2 or 3 depending on how you hold the earlier notes. <laughs> 